Yo, how's it going guys? It's your boy Kinky the Amazing back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to earn $1,000 within one hour in Red Dead Online. But there's different ways to earn $1,000 in Red Dead Online. But I think, in my opinion, this is the fastest way. Not exactly fastest, but yeah. It only takes one hour. Um, yeah, to earn thousand dollars in one hour you can either do stranger missions or you could just and I'm not even sure or if you've already started up uh, or if you've already gotten become a trader then that's one of the best ways to get earn money or bounty hunting bounty hunting is mostly for the gold you get more more gold with bounty hunting or you could become a collector I'm not very sure which gives you the most gold I think it's bounty hunting but anyways if you just started up Red Dead and you're looking for a way to earn cash in Red Dead just start up any one of these stranger missions or story missions but if you're new to this channel i appreciate it if you'd smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come I upload sometimes daily or weekly depends on how I'm feeling but yeah just subscribe to my channel and it would mean the world to me anyways back to the video you can just talk to these guys like Are this work, and it'll give you option to accept doing. the job and you just have Good. to do that so this is a job that got sent my way I think you'll well, it's highway robbery, and what could be more fun than that? Very little, right? I need you to go and steal back a stagecoach. It's over in Shady Bell, and I believe loaded to the gills with goodies it is. Belonging to those creepy blighters who are still fighting a silly war. Rob them blind for me, will you? Thank you very much. But if you do do um, stranger missions and you and you're at the end of the mission, I recommend waiting the last 30 seconds because you'll get more cash and gold bars. I think if you wait till the last 30 seconds, I think you'll get zero comma zero comma 14 gold bars or 20 gold bars I'm not very sure but round about the but if you are new to Red Dead Redemption 2 and you see those story missions scattered around you or maybe it's just two scattered around your map start any one of those you just need to start one up and then 
once you're done with the mission you'll get a lot of money too for my parts e and then then you need at least two to four players to start the job to start the mission up but doing story missions i think they give you the most amount of cash not out of everything but um between the stranger and the story missions i recommend doing story like being trapped in a picture frame. So, they dropped off a note. Some job that needs doing. Whoever they are. Not that I give a damn anymore. Uh, hello? Do you want this? Off you go, then. Join this video, tell me in the comment section below what video you want, what game you want me to play next, and um, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn, turn those notifications on and like this video.
If you make your peace with this world, you'll never be lost in it. That's for sure. Hey! Hmm. Long time no see. The store's pretty self-explanatory. Feel free to browse goods and well, Once you're done doing shelves, all these strange missions and you the reached 15 gold bars or 14 gold bars, I recommend not using your money on uh, on weapons or stuff for your horse or anything like that I recommend using your money on a business like either bounty hunting leader or collector one of those three that's if you've reached 14 or 15 gold bars then start those things up but I think you should rather start up a bounty hunting then you can hold gold and cash because trader you just get money from it and from bounty hunting you get gold and cash so i recommend starting up bounty hunting then working your way into trading and then or collector and then trading one of those two or if you if you wanna play red dead just for fun and all that and you've Maybe reached 14 gold bars and you want to have fun and grind at the same time. Recommend starting up bounty hunting. Because trader doing it is a bit boring. There's no challenge in it. Nothing like that. But with bounty hunting you meet new people. You um, hunt them down and you can choose to kill them or just put take them in or whatever. You have more choices in that. But with the trader, you just you just collect supplies, deliver supplies, all that stuff. So if you do reach fourteen gold bars or fifteen, recommend starting up bounty hunting. That's if you wanna have fun and actually enjoy Red Dead Redemption Two.
And there was me with my hopes up. If you fancy doing some shopping, come on back. Well, now, I was wondering when you'd be back. Seems everyone with a rifle been hunting these of late. A lot of folk coming by with these lately. sure if I'd see you again. Some ammunition's on the shelves, but I keep the guns locked. Take a look at the catalog and I'll pull out anything you'd like to see. Okay, well, Lord maybe some God. other time. Come on back when you reconsider. What in the...
is wrong with this place? Anyways, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more rated videos to come and more games to come. And but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to share with your friends and I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.